Yo, I'm gonna confess something to you all. Um, I've been depressed for like a, a minute. You know, you understand? Like, not that depressed, like not that depression where I can't, you know, do what I normally do on a daily basis. You know, not that type of depression where I'm suicidal or, you know, it's like really, really bad. It's, but I, I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've been depressed for, for for quite some time. I laugh, I joke, you know, and. It's not like I'm faking it when I laugh and joke. I have my good moments, but for the most part, I'm I've been depressed for a minute. And I'm, you know, I've been trying to figure out what's the problem. You know, is it because of this or that or blah 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 blah. And I came to the conclusion that it's two things. Two big things that stick out, right? Pause. Um, one of them is just this whole thing of black men being shot and killed and the justice, you know what I'm saying, behind it. Like, okay, one cop goes to jail and he has the potential of going to jail for uh, uh, up to like 40 years, but he's de- he's not going to get that. That's, but that's not no justice. Like, we, we're getting happy over... Officers shooting and killing a person that can't come back from the dead. That officer goes to jail, and let's say Derek Chauvin does 15 years. He once he gets out, yo, he's gonna be good. There are white supremacists that are out there, KKK. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the skinheads that support this man. And will definitely support him while he's in jail and while he gets out. I'm pretty sure that he's going to have a substantial amount of money based on these white supremacist groups. So he's good. That's the first thing. But that's... The first thing doesn't bother me that much. You understand? Like, it bothers me that black men are getting killed and that... I could potentially be one of them, or my son could be one of them, you understand? But it doesn't bother me that much because, like, most times you gotta be in that environment to get in type of, in, in any type of altercation with the cops. You have to have warrants and different things like that. Like, you know, the situation with Andrew Brown and Elizabeth, uh, North Carolina. And it was wrong what happened to him. Wrong. You see what I'm saying? So what I try to do in life is I try to stay away from pro- from trouble. I, I try to stay away from pro- uh, trouble and I, I try to stay away from, from, from the police. That plain and simple. That's not the biggest problem though. The second one is the biggest problem. And that is I've lived this type of lifestyle for a minute and I can honestly say living the middle class lifestyle is overrated. It's overrated. You know, having the credit cards and making sure that your credit score is up to par and, you know, paying bills and all of that stuff. Like, yo, seriously, I, I pay bills. I mean, I've been paying bills all my life. But it's just the whole thing of just like, yo, seriously, I'm struggling because I am naturally a hustler. And I don't like saving money to buy stuff and to get stuff that I want and need. No, I'm, I'm so used to to getting it right then and there. I'm just like, I I just don't, I don't, I don't like this middle class life. I don't. Watching Netflix on the weekends and just a little stupid. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. This summer, I'm going to go to Myrtle Beach. I've been, I've I've been to Myrtle Beach four or five times every summer. It's just whack. I want to live like not on the edge, but I definitely want a better lifestyle than this. And I know y'all can see it. I mean, you can hear it. Because I've been doing videos about money. And the only way that I can be able to step up, you know what I'm saying, is to make more money. But this middle class shit, man, I don't like it. I, I just don't. I'm just, I just don't like it. It's, it's like, it's like the same thing. Like, relax, repeat. Relax, repeat. You go to sleep, you get up, take a shit. You know what I'm saying? I give you my day. I take a shit. I may run some errands or whatever have you. Then I go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? I juice. Get out, when I get out of the gym, I got things that I have to do. I do those things. And then as it draws closer into the night, you know what I'm saying? Take a shower. You know what I'm saying? I might stay up a little bit, edit. I might do a video. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
what else? I prep for the next day. Um, and then after that, I, I, I go to bed. And it's the same shit day after day after day after day. I just, I don't want that. I don't want that. Yo, seriously, I've done what I'm about to say. Y'all going to be surprised. Seriously. But I did these videos about Charlotte for you all. Yeah, Charlotte is, is, a, is a decent place to live. But I've outgrown it. I have. I've been here for years. And it's time for me to go. If I don't go this year, I'm cool with that. I'm not going to mess up my, my money. I'm not going to do that. In other words, I'm not going to move somewhere where I'm struggling. That doesn't make sense. I might as well stay here until I get it right. I'm not going to change my... I want Wherever I move, I want my lifestyle to change. I want to get bumped up. Other than that, I might as well stay my black ass here. If I'm going to move, let's say, to Sacramento. And I'm living just like how I'm living here. That doesn't make sense. But I made these videos about Charlotte for you all. And now I have exhausted myself. Right? What else can I talk about for us dealing with Charlotte? And I, I see it. I see it. I see the purge already. You know what I'm saying? I put these two, uh, the latest two videos out and it really wasn't nothing about Charlotte. And I hardly got the views that I would normally get. I get it. So what we're going to have to do is, you know what I'm saying? See how things go with my channel. Because what else am I going to talk about for us dealing with Charlotte? And then another thing too is, so I have two channels. I have the old channel, I have the new channel. Another thing too is I'm going to stop talking about these murders. Because one thing that I realize is that it depresses me, it stresses me out. And then also it's like, it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. They're going to they're gonna drag their feet. What I, who I mean is they, is politicians on Capitol Hill are going to drag their feet to get something approved, police reform or something, a bill that protects black people. They're going to drag their feet year after year after year talking about, yo, we're, we're going to sign a bill or we're going to create a bill, da, da, da. Kill it. They got the George Floyd bill or something like that that uh, Joe Biden is, is in the works right now. I'm going to stop talking about it. Yo, let me tell you something. A lot of people look at my videos, right? And they say, you know, man, you're doing a good job, you know, dealing with these Charlotte, you know, showing us around Charlotte and, and putting us on and blah, 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 and this and that and so forth. But you got to understand one thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not like y'all. I'm just not. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm not. Like, I, I don't like staying in places for long periods of time. I don't like saving money to get stuff. Like, I'm the type of person to, if I, if, like, say, for example, I get a new car, right? I don't want to go. I don't want to make payments. I just want to buy it straight out. I don't like waiting on stuff. I don't. And I know where it comes from. It's because I, I'm a hustler. Before I did this middle class life, I lived this middle class lifestyle. When I was hustling out there, I ain't, I ain't have no wallet. I didn't have all I had in my pockets was cash and my ID. That's it. Had no credit cards and none of that. I was basically living off the grid, but living on it, if you understand where I'm coming from. Whatever I wanted, boom, here's cash for it. That's, and I thought, that's my mentality. That, that's how I would think. That's how I think or thought for years. I know at least a good solid 15, 20 years. And it's like with this middle class life, it's just, yo, listen, no disrespect to any of you all that live that and want that and desire that middle class life. I'm telling you, I got it. I got it. I walk outside, I talk to my neighbors, hey, neighbor, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? You know, the cookouts, you know, all of that stuff. It's just, it's, it's the same shit. It's redundant every year. So the 4th of July, these guys uh, that stay across from me, they, they, you know, set up fireworks in the middle of the street. You know, and the fireworks are going off. I don't like fireworks because I used to live in the hood and you couldn't tell the difference between the fireworks and people shooting off guns. So when 4th, 4th of July come, I'm in the house. My children in the house. Point blank period. Now, it used to be when I used to live in Bexley, um, back in the days, we used to go up on this hill. There was no firecrackers going on, no fireworks going on in the apartment complex. We used to be on this, sit on this hill. You can still do it till this day. 
right behind Harris Teeter in the Rivergate area, right? It's this hill, and you can look from a distance at Carowinds. They do fireworks every year. So we used to do that. And then one year we went, we actually, I drove down there. And it was just, it was ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of young kids that be out there and you know how it goes. Anything could pop off, so literally. So I, I try to stay, stay away from that, stray away from that. But it's just the same shit every year. It really is. Don't get me wrong. I know, you know, I'm not religious like that, but I want to use what religious people, the term that you, religious people would, would use because everybody knows this term. Um, I, I'm blessed. You understand? I, I don't have to worry about bills and wa wa my water bills paid up, light bill, rent, all of that stuff. I'm good. I'm good. So I'm not sitting here crying and ranting and and, and, and bitching, you know, and, like my life is not, like my life is shitty. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I'm, it's like, who does this? That's all I want to know. Like, so dealing with the middle class, right? You mean to tell me I do this for the rest of my life? You know, and then, you know, you may have your rising actions, you know, in between, you know, it may be, you might get a better car, a new car. Um, your daughter graduates from, from from high school and then goes to college. You know, um, what else? You may, you may, what else? Uh, you may get a jacuzzi. You might buy a jacuzzi and put it in the backyard. You you, you might get, instead of having a 50-inch TV in your, your living room, you get a 65-inch. You know, little things like that, but it's still the same shit. I've seen, listen, let me tell you something. My father is official middle class, right? Official, straight up middle class, whether you say he black middle class or white middle class, he makes that type of money, right? Y'all seen my father renting, owning, and he owns like a, a it's like a duplex. It's, it's like four, it's a, it's a house. He owns one part of the house and he owns the upstairs and the downstairs to that one part of the house. But the one part of the house is a three bedroom, uh, two bath um, upstairs and then it's a three bedroom two bath and then it's uh the the basement downstairs so he he owns th that side i seen him owning one part of it then owning the other part and then i seen him go from uh what did he have i didn't understand that but he went from a mercedes benz to a lexus jeep and my 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 stepmoms went from a maxima to a mercedes benz uh and I don't know what he has right now. I'm pretty sure like he changes up every three years or whatever. So he's he probably has something new right now. And I went, I, I seen him go from like the TVs. Now he got like an 80 inch or something like that. It's really, really big downstairs in the basement. The problem is, it's the same shit. I just don't want that. And this is what separates me and you. Because everybody's like a lot of people trying to get down here to Charlotte. And I'm telling, and <laughs> y'all are trying to get here to Charlotte. I'm trying to get out. Like, Charlotte is nice. Like I said, and if I not fail, if I don't like the place that I'm moving to in the near future, whether it's this year or next year or, or the year after that, I'm going to come back here because Charlotte is home. But at the end of the day, like, I definitely want more, man. And then, eventually, yo, seriously, the United States is, is, is getting played out. It, it really is to me, you know what I'm saying? And then it's, it's becoming very dangerous for black people. And it's kind of like, you got to sit back and say to yourself, moving out of the country really can be an option. Why be somewhere? See... Y'all listen to all the Moors. Who else preaches that shit? Sovereignty and that, you know, we were here prior to the Europeans coming over here. And, you know, um, I don't know if the Moors talk about um, the uh, Olmecians. You know, we could build on that for days. But at the end of the day, they don't care. White people don't care about that. You know, Black people, uh, this is this is our home. If this is our home, 
I don't want to know what the hell. <laughs> it's just like, yo, seriously, man. White people don't want us here. However they did it, whether they stole it, whether we was here first or not, I don't care. All I know is that my black people are being murdered and white people don't want us here. And there's a possibility in the next four years that Donald Trump can run again and become president again. Or they could be someone far more worse than him. They can be, I seen on um, Instagram, this dude was like, Antifa. And he had, I forgot, I think it was he had an AR-15 on him or something. He cocked it back or whatever, had his hat pulled back. Antifa and BLM, how you doing? You know, um, yeah, true indeed. There was no, something about voting or some shit. I, I, I didn't, what I heard was, we coming for you. This summer. So there are white supremacist groups out there that's, that's, that's ready and, and willing to do what they got to do. To take people that look like me out. That's why I encourage minorities to have firearms. Because like Pretty Ricky said, hey, you may not win the battle, but at least you have a fighting chance. At least if somebody come bang through my door, I could put a couple of bullets in them. But if I didn't have my firearms, guess what? I have to come to the door with some mace. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I'm serious, man. Like I, I'm, 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 I'm grateful that I have what I have. It's just that this lifestyle is boring, man. It really is. I need some excitement. I need, I need to mix it up. You know what I'm saying? In order to do that, I have to make more money. That plain and simple. And I'm about to get off out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's no disrespect to those that live this type of lifestyle. It's just this lifestyle. It's not for me. I thought it was. I thought like, you know what? Let me try this out. And I tried it out, and I'm like, damn. So you mean to tell me I gotta be in debt, and then I gotta pay off my credit cards and then I, I can't pay too much because if I pay too much then my credit score goes down and then if I if I apply for a, a, a car or something like that the, the, it, they, they'll take it man it's too much it's too this middle class shit is too much I just want it to be simple that plain is simple man it's just it's not complicated It's, it's crazy, man. You know, credit scores, you know what I'm saying? And, and now I'm 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 like, yo, you know, the next place I move, I gotta I really gotta consider like, should I own a house because I'm paying two thousand two twenty two hundred dollars a month or whatever. That don't make sense for me to keep on paying that and not owning the house. That's throwing money out the window. It's like this middle class life I don't like and just getting older I don't like. Straight up, like I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you young people out there, like man, getting older is whack. If you got your, now if you got your money right and you could do whatever, whatever the hell you wanna do at any given moment, getting older, becoming older is beautiful, it's great. But if you got a motherfucking like, save up money and make payments here and there and live in a house and your mortgage you know what I'm saying like you gotta pay mortgage and, and you living in that house and you won't own it until 20 years later like man that's slavery to me that's why I'm like scared to, to, to own a house I'm scared to own a house one and two I'm scared to own like a, a car that's like $40,000 they telling me oh well we could spread it out and your car payments could be pretty good but you know you're gonna be paying on that car for the next 10 years and then I'm going to end it with this because I know I'm going to catch the heat in the comment section. But I got some shit for you all. You bust your ass and get all of this shit, right? You got the nice house that's $200,000, $300,000 and, and you're paying on it and, and, and you got 20 years left. You got your nice car. Your wife got a nice car. That's each a piece is $30,000, $40,000. Your daughter's about to go to college. Everything is set. You got a good job. 
Next thing you know, some shit like COVID-19 happened and you lose it all. Now you tell me if that's crazy or not. You bust your ass to get to this middle class lifestyle and you got it and you've been living for, for the next five, you've been living like this for the five, 10 years. Next thing you know, some shit like COVID-19 happened and you lose your job, thus you lose everything. Because I could tell you that ringing dick ass stimulus check ain't shit when you when your mortgage is motherfucking twenty two hundred dollars a month and you got car payments on both cars and you trying to get your daughter into college and you have to pay for food and you got to pay the light bill the water bill man this crazy this 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 game is crazy you either have to be either or seriously in 2021 either you got to be low class because low class, at least you can get assistance. You get the EBT, the Section 8 and shit. You ain't got to worry about shit. Your fucking rent is damn $46 a month. Or you be high class. You don't have to worry about anything because you got the money. Middle is just exactly what it is. If y'all going to argue with me, you want to debate with me, listen to what I'm saying, and then comment, respond. Middle class is exactly what it is. You know, you're not high and you're not low. Middle class to me, they give off this persona of stability. But it is the it's the most unstable class that exists between the two. Excuse me, between the three. Now you can comment. 